only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Hey, are you for us or for our adversaries? Do you see a bold man here? A leader, right? He has no fear. He knows I've crossed the Jordan, I've obeyed God, I've led the people in, I'm doing what God commanded me, what Moses taught me to do. So before he knows it's the Lord, he's just in leadership mode, right? Hey, are you for us or against us? Why? Because we know the consequences, right? If you're against us, shh. if you're for us, let's go. Get with it. Where are you supposed to be? We got a battle. With you. Joshua had that confidence because he was obeying God's commands. He had that promise in his heart. Isn't that what God told him? Back in, in Joshua chapter 1, right? Verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. I mean, you can't get much plainer than that, right? Pretty straightforward. So God's promises are for those who obey His commands. Let me give you a third thought about God's commands being timeless. To obey God's commands, you must have courage. Isn't that true? To obey God's commands, you got to have some courage. You can't be a flip-flop, you know? You, you just got to determine, you know what? I'm going to have to have some courage and say, whether it's popular or not, I'm going to obey. 